Obviously, professional cricket sort of took over, so I didn't really draw anything for quite a few years. And then it was probably on my recovery from cancer, 2016. Um, I didn't really think about it. Um, and then, obviously, once I made my debut, 2010, you know, I had the first illness probably with my lung because I was at, you know, probably the peak of my powers then as a player, um, really trying to push to, you know, obviously keep my name in that top epsilon of batsmen in the country because now I've gone from being, you know, right at the top of the pecking order to now, you know, right, you know, right back to the beginning sort of thing. So it took me, you know, four years to get back in. That was probably the time then, I st you know, obviously, you know, your career's on tender, tender hooks really. You're kind of thinking, you know, you know, should do start to think about life after cricket because there was a, you know, very well I should really have retired, but there was a, you know, high chance that I might not have played again. I think having a um, having a sort of release, you know, something to to do and to occupy your time, which obviously drawing can. I suppose when I took up the. Uh, Realism drawing three years ago. I said when I looked deeper into it, you know, I was sort of amazed the what you can create with just a pencil. You know, I, did, I never knew hyperrealism was a movement. I never, never heard of it. Um, but then the people I started to follow, um, you know, I was just like, wow, like <laughs> that's, that looks like a black and white photograph. But I was an opening back, um, and I, I would say. It's it's pretty much linked hand in hand with how I was as a pro. You know, I, I really delved into attention to detail. You know, always exploring different techniques, different methods to to get the result I wanted. At the moment, I think it's more a case of you know someone who's able to come from a probably different, completely different world. Um, you know, I've never had any sort of formal art training. I'd say I'm really at the start of my journey, so. You know, people who come to see my work now, hopefully in years to come, they'll see, uh, you know, see me sort of evolve as an artist. I think for me, it's, I'd like to make art that makes a little bit of a statement or similar to how I was as a sportsman. I remember sort of early visions of artists were people who came to my local world where I grew up in Croydon and they would sort of, you know, set their easels up and sort of sketch people as they went along. Um, and a lot of those, people, probably the first people I saw really were, were pencil artists. So, and I suppose growing up in a household, we, we didn't have a lot of money. Um, so I wasn't like blessed with a lot of toys as a child, but the one thing that was always around was a, was a pen and pencil. Again, it's just be nice and light, don't have to push too hard. I've known, I've known Joe quite a little while. We um, I first met him when he was a, uh, we, Open, open together against West Indies for the England Lions. He got 100. First time I really saw him up close and personal. So yeah, when he when he got the captaincy, or it looked as though he was going to get the captaincy, I thought I'd start on a drawing. You know, looking at other sort of hyperrealism artists and thinking, right, I'm going to try and reproduce what they're doing. Um, I think that that's that's very important. So that's similar to a batter really you know you, you've got a there comes a point where yes you can admire certain people yes certain people inspire you but ultimately you have to also be, be comfortable with yourself i think you know having that adversity uh through through the early part of my career you know trying to break in certain teams and it didn't quite work um having to redefine yourself after two life-threatening Ill illnesses as well and, and almost coming back as a better version um, I think definitely moulded the way I played um, the game out in the middle so I guess it's the same when I've got now pencil in hand.